Random sampling of a surface results in oversampling in some places, indicated here by overlapping dots. Other regions are undersampled, shown here by gaps in the surface coverage. Stratifying the samples reduces oversampling, but some clumping of samples still occurs. Complete surface coverage is still not guaranteed due to undersampling. Poisson disk distributions exhibit neither oversampling nor undersampling. Note that in this example the small spheres do not overlap and the large spheres completely cover the surface. We present an algorithm to generate Poisson disk point sets directly on surfaces based on dart throwing. The key idea is to efficiently exclude already covered surface parts from further sampling. To throw a dart we randomly select an active triangle and sampling position. Next we test if a user defined minimum distance to all neighboring samples is preserved. If not, the sample is discarded and the process repeats. If the distance is preserved, the sample is kept. New samples should only be placed at uncovered regions to make the process practical. This is done by deactivating covered regions. Therefore, we start the sampling process with an active list of triangles. After a new sample is placed, each neighboring sample is tested if it completely covers the current triangle. If not, we subdivide the triangle and repeat the test for the children. Fully covered triangles are deactivated. The sampling process stops when the whole surface is deactivated. In the geodesic case, we first subdivide the mesh according to local density. Then we fix all T vertices and reconnect the mesh. When a dart is thrown, we march out to the dart boundary, shown here in red. Triangles completely inside the dart boundary are marked as covered. Triangles that intersect the boundary are shown in green. We cut partially covered triangles to the approximate dart boundary and repeat the procedure for the next dart. Place, march out, and cut. Dart throwing terminates when the surface is completely covered. The algorithm allows us to vary the distance between neighboring samples. Note that the samples are still well spaced and that they completely cover the surface. We can also modify the algorithm to place ellipsoids on a surface without overlap. Finally, we show some examples of objects placed using our algorithm. 